Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 761 of One Piece today and I really like how everything is becoming a lot more clear right now after everything they've shown so far um, and yeah, I believe it's not going to stop here I think they're still going to um, show the continuation of um, these moments uh, after Nami's group uh, arrived um, at this place and uh, met um, the members of the Mink tribe uh, for the first time um, So yeah, just really can't wait to see what exactly they're going to show during this episode So, hope you guys are ready and let's start it And it's pretty interesting to see this connection between um, Kaido's subordinate and how he's using... He was using one of Caesar's weapons, so showing that whole um, traffic of weapons, how Doflamingo's business was... played a part on this. Yeah, it was pretty sad for the Ming tribe. One day they were living happy lives and suddenly these guys come here asking for something like for someone they don't even have or know anything about and instantly destroy everything and kill some of them. Especially Chopper as a doctor, seeing this... Oh, the one who was, who was running was this... Um, this girl... Was um, like a nurse or something like that? That was the first uh, member of the Ming tribe they found. Yeah, this guy knows. That face. It's like so proud. He was just asking for it. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Like, nothing good will come out of something like that, like a poison gas weapon. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, are they forcing him to do something about... Like to tell them about 
how to nullify that poison. Damn. Oh, is that the rain, rain eruption or something? Probably is right. Yep. Yeah, only Sanji can swim. <laughs> okay, that was. He just picked Chopper and then kicked uh, Caesar out of the water. <laughs> it really shows how how much they care about this guy. Ooh, that's Nami and Brooke. Oh, that's what they're asking him to do. Also, hope this explains what happened to, to Sanji. Yeah, this is pretty much what we saw. The first time they showed... This group, after the Dressrosa arc, at least. Hmm. Oh, and this was the one looking at them, not Carrot. I always thought it was Carrot. I remember someone doing that behind the tree and stuff. He's actually going to be the one uh, destroying that poison gas. Damn. So I'm glad Caesar was with them, but I mean, in the end, he was the one who played a part on this. If it wasn't for him creating that weapon, it would have never been used. But thankfully, he was with the uh, Chopper and the others when they arrived at this place, so they could force him to. Get rid of this poison gas. Man, I really love this Nami's outfit. She looks like really casual, but so beautiful. There's one there. I want to see there first. 
Oh, damn. It probably wasn't easy for these these guys to trust Nami and the others. Is she trying to suicide and take Nami with her? Damn. That's crazy. Man, never saw this game. Things came to this point. It's really sad. Never expected the first moments between Wanda and Nami to be like this. Oh, she's going to tell her. Kristen, that's her name. Damn, she played a big role on this. Yeah, this guy no noticed them as well, so... They know they're good. Well, if they knew about the full story. To start the treatment. Damn. He's really nice. Yeah, the only one who wasn't happy was probably Caesar. So now it's... Uh, most of it is pretty much explained. I really like how Chopper is being so assertive, like, really, I don't want to say desperate, but he's trying his best to save all of them, that's really awesome. Caesar is so not happy. I don't really care about that. It's got tears. This is what I really wanted to see. How exactly they help these people. Really glad they were here to help them. I 
yeah, this thing about them um, disliking humans and stuff is really. It's probably changed their perspective. Oh, these ones were actually helping them. They weren't bad people like the others. Yep. Still wonder how Wanda got... Nami's clothes, though. I guess Nami just gave it as a gift, since she's not uh, wearing those anymore. But at the present time, Nami is also using some different clothes, so I guess they traded outfits? Not too sure. Oh my god, <laughs> the bones are sweating. Wait, I just noticed. Did Dogstorm lose one, uh, one leg? And Cat Viper lost one of his limbs as well? I remember Jack doing like the swing. But they didn't really show what happened. I believe uh, Dogstorm at least is, lo is missing a leg. Not too sure about Cat Viper though. But I want to believe he also lost either a, a, an arm or a leg as well. And that's really, really bad. But music always helps, that's for sure. Bing's booze, right? This shows how good they are. They just do the right thing. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> of course, Frankie's just crying rivers. Yeah, this explained a lot. I'm really, really happy they showed so much right off the bat. Yeah. Oh my god. And they keep showing these different angles of Nami's body. Ooh. Wonder how they're going to feel about that. Kingsbird. Oh. That explains why she wasn't uh, sleeping. Oh my god. Yeah, you probably like him because he won't go after your bones. <laughs> Ooh.
Yeah, that's what I was wondering about, how they would be received there. Yeah, again, this is really nice, and now it feels like um, pretty much everything was explained. So, they're probably going to just uh, keep moving forward, so go going uh, past uh, the present time, or so to say. Um, and yeah, it was, uh, again, really sad to see what happened to this uh, Mink tribe, but uh, at the same time, I'm glad Nami and the others um, got here in time to um, save as many as they could, and uh, this really, um, this also explains uh, why the Mink tribe, um, while they are, um, like, I don't know, like, as Caesar was saying, the Mink tribe is known for their, uh, like, um, outstanding fighting... Um, fighting power or something, uh, and also for uh, disliking humans, but uh, um, the reason they are totally okay with Nami and the others is pretty much because of uh, how they save them, so that's uh, definitely um, like the high point of this um, this story for now, at least, like how um, that there was this... Uh, like, this help between um, each other, so I really loved uh, how Chopper instantly started making sure um, that, uh, uh, like, as many, uh, not just as many, but he really wanted to save um, everyone here, so just really awesome to see his uh, determination, how he just wanted to do it um, as fast as possible, so no one um, would die because um, of that poison. Um, and yeah, now I'm curious to see what's going to happen between um, the Strawhead Pirates uh, and um, uh, Master Cat Viper. So, uh, as Wanda was saying, they should, like, um, welcome them uh, well, so, like, as the saviors of uh, this country. Um, but, um, I don't know, it's... Uh, it's like Dogstorm and Cat Viper have some um, distinct personalities, so I'm not too sure about how Cat Viper is going to uh, receive them, but hopefully nothing bad uh, will happen, of course. Um, and yeah, just really can't wait to see what exactly is um, going to happen during the next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.